What's up guys, it's your girl Glam Neficent here, back at it again with the back at it again. Today I will be doing my nails with the KISS um, acrylic nail set or nail kit. So I did get this nail kit from Target for $9.99, $10. And um, it did not come with the rest of the stuff that you see. I did buy that separately. Um, the brush that comes with this kit is not that good. So I decided to get another brush from a nail supply store. And I got a number 12 brush. They didn't have the number 8, which is the suggested size you get when you're um, first starting your nails. So I did get a size 12 brush. Um, as you guys can see, this is all the things that the kit comes with. It comes with acrylic liquid, which is also monomer. It comes with acrylic, a brush, a filer, 20 clear um, tips, and 20 white clip tips. And, um, yeah. So I did buy the little powder brush thingy to dust away the, um, you know, the dust. And then I did get a primer. So this kit did not come with a primer, which is kind of mandatory. Like you need a primer for your nails um, because it just helps stays. It helps with, uh, I forgot what it is, but listen guys, I'm, I'm just starting. But all I know is primer is important. So make sure you get a primer cause, because it does not come with this kit. Okay, so right here I'm just prepping my nails. And I'm um, using the cuticle pusher and I'm just, you know, cleaning up my nails a bit. That's important too. Prepping your nails prior to putting your acrylic on is important because that's what, you know, helps the nail stay on longer. So, um, I did see long, long Hair Pretty Nails do this. Also, Christina Couture Nails did this as well. And honestly, guys, it is so easy. Like, I thought it was going to be harder than it was, and it really wasn't. Because I've been getting my nails done for so long. So it's like, you know, and I always watch what they do. So it's like, it's pretty simple. You just have to work fast, especially with acrylic. You have to work fast. Um, the only thing I did not have, guys, was a glass container. I needed a glass container for the monomer the acrylic liquid I needed um, to put it in it because I had to dip my brush back into the liquid and the brush is kind of thick so it it was a little annoying but anyway yeah I'm just cleaning up my nails here with um, a little alcohol and then you guys will see me putting on the tips okay you guys will see me putting on the tips. Um, I did have some, a little, I struggled a little bit with choosing, um, actually with shaping them, but I eventually get it together. So yes, what you want to do is first, um, after you prep your nails, you want to just measure the nails and see which ones you are going to be using for your Ooh, sorry guys <laughs> you basically want to um, see which nails are going to fit each nail which tips so that's what I'm doing here and I like to do that like prior to like some people do it like you know after the fact but I like to do it prior to so that I can just go ahead and glue them on one after the other And guys, I was happy to finally be doing this because I've been eyeing this kit for like months now. And um, I finally got the courage to do it. Um, my girlfriend was just like, just do your own nails, you know? Like, you love to do nails. Well, you love to get your nails done. You might as well just do your own nails. You can do it. And then my work sister also told me, you know, let's try doing our own nails. And I was like, you know what? Y'all right. Like... 
let me stop being scared and just do my own damn nails you know like i'm so tired of like going to nail techs and my nails breaking off so fast or it costing too much money this will save you some money right here guys okay like this kit was only ten dollars but i am going to invest and get some more and like invest in some um acrylic that i seen on amazon like maya secret or um some of valentino's i'm definitely gonna start getting more acrylics and doing more you guys will see me get better and better each time i am a perfectionist so you know i will get better and better but oh in advance guys i do apologize for the the, the angle i didn't realize that i was so off you know so some parts you guys won't see and i'm so sorry about that but stay tuned for the next video i will be in better focus i'm so sorry so here guys i was trying to like sh shape the nail or shape the tip um like prior to putting them on my finger but it wasn't working so i said hey what the heck I'll just do it when it's on my finger. So as you guys can see, I do have the tips on. Um, my camera did cut off so you guys didn't see me putting them on. But yes, I am cutting them right now. I did get the scissors from my nail supply store. Everything that you see that did not come in the kit is from my nail supply store. Um, so right here, I'm just cutting the nails so that I can do pointy. I love stiletto nails. Not too pointy, but pointy. And here I'm just filing um, the tip and my nail bed down to kind of like um, have it blended, you know. I don't have a drill yet, so I was just using the nail filer. So uh, guys, I was trying to use the nail filer as much as I can, the one that the kit came with. But this nail filer does get a little dull very quickly, so... Um, I like to, that's why I just ended up just buying my own separate ones from, as a backup from the nail supply store. They were each a dollar. So I bought like a buffer one and then I bought an actual nail filer, like a, a 08 slash 08 one or 8080, I don't know. But this nail filer, the other nail filer you guys will see me use is like bomb. It's like amazing. Um, so I was, I was should suggest you get a another nail filer a thick good one because the one that comes in a kit does um, get dull after like one hand so yes you just want to file them down file 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 and just get them you know you want to blend your nail with the I don't know how to explain it guys but I'm just falling it down I'm just <laughs> I mean I, I'm, I'm just doing what I learned you know I'm more of a um, look and learn type of person so I'm just falling down my nail and blending it in and here I'm using the follow that I bought guys this is a popping follow okay it, I believe it says 80 slash 80 on it I don't know but it's such an amazing follower. So I'm just shaping my nails now. And guys, I'm right-handed. So, of course, the left hand, me doing the left hand was just amazing. Like, 
like the, I feel like the, I'm so part of the left hand more than I am of the right hand. But I will get better at doing both hands. But listen, I'm not gonna be too hard on myself because I know that I will get better. But I am so proud of like me actually doing it, you know. So guys, if you are scared or if you thinking about doing your own nails, try it. You know, you may not like it, but try doing it. I believe this took me like an hour and a half. It really didn't take me that long. When I go get my nails done, it takes hours, you know. Um, but, um, and I also like my nails thicker than how I had them, than how I did them. But this is just practice. I will get better. And I'm just super excited. Plus, this nail kit will probably last you two, or it will, I think it's enough acrylic for like two sets, and that's it. So as you guys can see, it's like ready. So I'm just um, putting primer onto my nail bed only. Well, I I, oh, I thought I did already. But uh, yeah, I put the nail primer onto my nail bed. And I'm opening the acrylic. And the monomer. So again, guys, you make sure you put your primer on <laughs> before you put the acrylic as you guys can see you can see me watching <laughs> I was just watching um long hair pretty nails just to make sure I'm doing it right but as you guys can see this brush is pretty big it's a very big brush but I like it because you could do the one bead method the one B method is when you basically take one blob of of acrylic and you just like rub it, you know, brush it onto the nail. So I was doing so good, guys. As you guys can see, I was doing so good. I was so proud of myself. I'm so sorry for the angle. Oh my god, I didn't notice. But yes, that's how I was doing it, guys. And I did it so good. You see? Ah! <laughs> I was so proud of myself, guys. Like, I want to do more. I want to do other people's nails. <laughs> I can't wait until I get, like, more acrylic and more supplies and stuff like that. So, listen, you can do your own nails at home for $10, guys. Like, what? This shit is so cool. So, as you guys can see, I did finish my nails. I did finish the acrylic and that's how it was looking so right here all you see me doing is just shaping the nail I'm just um you know filing it shaping it more shaping it better into place and I really have fun putting with the acrylic application guys I had a blast <laughs> so yes I'm just shaping them this nail follow was so it was so helpful and just so like bomb you know I thought I was gonna need a drill but I really didn't As you guys can see, look how pretty it is. After I know it's not perfect, but look how pretty these are after shaping and all that other stuff. So yes, I did wash my hands and everything. 
in now I'm just painting on my nails I did get this nail polish from the nail supply store and I did get like a, a fast nail drying um, polish and this polish what this blue polish guys is so opaque and so pretty listen like this is only one coat one coat on each nail and it's so bright I have to get more colors but yes guys I decided to do a nice blue I thought it was so cute let me know if you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more leave suggestions okay stay tuned for more nail videos I really had so much fun doing this and yeah guys don't forget to comment like and subscribe okay see you next video later